Arthur Hill High School's varsity football team captured the Class AA state championship in 1991 with a thrilling 13-12 victory over Detroit Catholic Central at the Pontiac Silverdome. We didn't have any uh, marquee Division I players on that team. And we were talking as a staff before the season began, that if we could just go five and four, we're, we're magicians. As a player, you always thought you had a chance to make the playoffs. Um, did we ever envision going to the Super Silverdome? No, I don't think so. You go out and, and you look up into the uh, rafters of the Silverdome, I mean, it just goes on forever. It just never ends, you know. It marked the number one Lumberjacks' first ever football state title since the playoffs were enacted. After losing two early season games and barely making the playoffs with a 7-2 regular season record, Coach Jim Urich's Hillites finished their amazing season with an eight-game winning streak. Uh, I think one of the most memorable games is the Muskegon game. Uh, it was one of our two losses on the year. Um, it was a, a game where it rained prior to the game. Uh, we had a long halftime due to a thunder and lightning and rain delays. And then uh, losing the game and then a long bus ride home and not getting back home too early in the morning. We lost to a really good team, but we can't make excuses for this. We've got to now move forward. So we were three and two. We felt we could be six and three if we were really lucky, but uh, things happened. Arthur Hill began their playoff run with a 32-28 victory over Flint Central in the pre-regional at AHHS's Memorial Stadium and it marked the second time the Lumberjack beat the Indians during the season as the Hillites nabbed a 27-21 overtime win in the second game of the regular season. Uh, we're playing Flint Central in the first game of the playoffs, and I find out the guy that I have to block is already scholarship to University of Illinois. This guy is like 265 pounds, cut out of a piece of granite, and I'm just some semi-flabby, you know, sophomore kid. And the fact that I was able to go out and keep a kid of that caliber at least contained, that was probably one of my, uh, from that season, probably one of my biggest, uh, one of my best memories and probably one of my biggest accomplishments. But I think they were ahead of us in the first quarter, 16 to zero. First quarter of the playoff game. I walked up to Jim Zapp and our defensive coach I looked right at him after they got it to 16. I said, you know, I think these guys are really ticked off at us. And he turned to me and he laughed. He said, you really think so? I said, yeah. And then he says, you better take the ball down and score on this or we're in trouble. Well, I call, I call a, a, an up pass to our Tom Shook, our split end. On the first play, we got the ball back on our 20-yard line, and he threw an up route to Tom Shook, and he went like 60 yards. Got it down to about the 20, and all of a sudden, there was life on our sideline. Arthur Hill was down 28-14 to in the third quarter, and the Lumberjacks fought back, getting the go-ahead score on a 51-yard keeper with 6.09 left in the contest. The Hillites then went on the road to take on unbeaten Traverse City in the regionals, and AHHS came away with a 21-18 win. Both teams scored three TDs, but Marvin Wright kicked three extra points and the Trojans missed an extra point kick and were halted on a pair of two-point conversions. Arthur Hill went up against unbeaten Adrian in the semifinal game at Lansing Sexton High School, facing Mark Arbaugh, who entered the game with over 1,300 passing yards. The Hills blanked Adrian 29 to nothing as Arbaugh was picked off twice in the contest and was just one for seven passing for only four yards. The state championship game was a nail biter as the Lumberjacks needed to come from behind to notch the victory over the Shamrocks, the defending state champions. Facing third and goal at the two yard line with 148 remaining on the clock, Marvin Wright faked a pitch and dove into the end zone for the winning score. This football team is, is very special to me. Outside of the birth of my children, probably the greatest moments of my life happened in Arthur Hill High School in the football program. That, that team was family, and it didn't matter what color uh, or origin a player was. Uh, they were just, uh, they were a family. By winning that, that 91 championship just brought back the glow 
of the 73 team, and that was good for Saginaw. Senior captains Dan Seaman and Taj Mustafa would go on to play four years of college football. Dan at Saginaw Valley State University and Taj at Northwood University. Wright was a two-year starter at Michigan State, and sophomore Sam Sword was a three-year starter at the University of Michigan and played three seasons in the National Football League. Sword was inducted into the Saginaw County Sports Hall of Fame in 2007. Yurik and Wright are both entering the Saginaw County Sports Hall of Fame tonight.